It's a question many of us ask every day. One that can inspire frustration and maybe a little bit of dread. What's for dinner? I think that what's for dinner is genuinely everyone's like existential crisis of the day. Because truly it's the one thing you don't want to think about. Stephanie King is the CEO and founder of Kitchen and Market. Located in the heart of Pike Place Market, the goal here is simple, to make making dinner easier for everyone. The way I describe Kitchen and Market is if Trader Joe's and Dean and DeLuca made a blue apron baby. Uh, I put a lot of intention into this. Uh, grocery shopping should not be painful and it should be both pleasant and fun and delicious. A self-proclaimed grocery nerd, Stephanie spent her career building private label brands for Whole Foods and Kroger before deciding she wanted to do it herself. A predominantly female-driven company, Stephanie and her team thought through every detail of Kitchen and Market, including, crucially, the way the store is laid out. We all know what we're shopping for. Salads are salads. When you want to make a salad, put everything for the salad in the same spot. So everything is very much structured and merchandised around truly like use and what you're going to need to make dinner. Stephanie, what are we making? Well, we're going to make Colby short ribs today. Ooh. Yeah, it's one of our favorite, most popular kits, and it kind of features some of my personal, like our sauces, they're just amazing. Stephanie says there are three distinct ways to experience Kitchen and Market. Folks can choose their own adventure, mixing and matching products like pre-seasoned meats and pre-made sauces to create their own meal, pick up prepared options like sandwiches and soups, or grab a meal kit like the one we're using. Each includes everything you need to make a full meal in 30 minutes or less. The biggest complaint with a lot of meal kits was I frequently found myself still hungry afterwards. Right. So I have to admit we addressed that with Kitchen Market. The team here also created products designed to simply make cooking easier. Stephanie and I are using a couple of them in a quick and easy dessert, an apple galette. So we're gonna cut two apples. I love these because it's almost, they're foolproof. You really right. truly cannot screw these up. So next step, we need to mix our magic pie spice. So this is your sweetener, your seasoning, and your thickener all in one. We make this at our commissary down in Soto, and I can't tell you the secret because it's magic, but it genuinely works. Now that we have our apples ready, we're gonna uh, roll out our pâté brisé, which is a very fancy French word for pie dough. Ta-da! Well done. Now, we're gonna take our apples, throw them in the middle. This is the trick. You're gonna fold up and then fold over. Ooh. And keep Great. going. Oh, yeah. Not half bad. The final touches. A little bit of water on the dough and a generous sprinkle of sugar. Then our galettes go into the oven for 45 minutes. It's nice, you don't have to think about it. That's really what I want people to feel when they walk out of here is, wow, you just helped solve a problem for me and you just made my night a lot more pleasant and delicious. So that's our goal. Again, I'm out. he's hired. <laughs> For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead.